Well, I work in two seats in your chart. These 10 things might happen or will happen. All right. So this will depend on the degree, depending on if Ketu is exalted, debilitated, uh, afflicted, multi-core, own sign, enemy sign. So it will depend on all these factors, which parts are aspecting Ketu, where is Ketu placed in the Bhav Chale chart. So not Lagna chart, house placement of Ketu only from Bhav Chale chart. Disclaimer. All right. So, wherever Ketu sits, these 10 things happen. Number one, there will be detachment from materialism. Very, very, very important. So, for example, but again, disclaimers. This is not a Ketu in first house, second house, till 12th house videos. Please, that's not the topic of the video. But wherever Ketu is, in whichever house, these traits will be there. All right? Be clear with that. So first is wherever Ketu is placed, there will be detachment from materialism. Okay. Now what does this mean? So suppose Ketu is in your seventh house. Again, don't run into seven, six, four, five, three, two, or again disclaimer. If you do that in the comments, I will not like it. All right. So if Ketu is in the seventh, for example, let's talk only of seventh house. <laughs> then what happens is you will eventually understand that marriage is not a great business if it is just material. So the materialistic aspect of marriage will gradually start to just start to disappear. So now what are the materialistic aspects of marriage? It is attraction, sexuality, uh, luxury, travel and all this. So if you have Ketu in the seven and you are just doing that, which means you're going for office and, you know, you are coming out in the evening. You are just, you know, going and uh, having fun in some hotel. And in the night, you are having intercourse once a month, twice a month. <laughs> that is all what you have in your marriage. Its days are numbered. Now, when I say the days are numbered, it does not mean you will get divorced. But what it certainly means is that you will you will get super frustrated and you will realize that that's that's it. That's over. There's not much left there, right? So then what will happen is you will look more towards spirituality, okay? So that's very important. Otherwise, you will keep roaming there one by one, one by one, all right? And yes, number two, what will happen from this? After this uh, detachment, you will gain spiritual wisdom. This is maybe the most important uh, trait of Ketu. Wherever Ketu sits, there will be spiritual growth, spiritual wisdom. Do not forget that. Okay. So, how will that happen? So, see, in general, spiritual progress happens for 90% of the people after some suffering. You will very rarely find somebody, you know, who has a very great life, you know, like excellent, fantastic, you know, like super brilliant and the person is, you know, too much into spirituality. In general, you will not find it. There are exceptions, of course, one to two people percent, but most 90 to 98 percent of the people, they will come through bad experiences. Okay, something terrible happens, then they look towards God. Okay, so in the seventh house, there could be a situation where something happens in your marriage and then you look towards God. Okay, so your spiritual progress will increase. Okay, and yes, if you are enjoying this content, which I'm sure you will do. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And for personalized consultations, you will find my website below in the des description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you find him uh, wherever from where Ketu is placed in the chart, right? And of course, I will be in New Delhi, India from 25th November to 2nd of December. If you want to meet me personally and consult, please send an email at Exotic astrology at the rate gmail.com, then my team will respond to you immediately. All right. Number three, wherever Ketu sits, there will be the old patterns will be broken. Okay. Now, what does this mean? It means, you know, suppose uh, if your Ketu is in uh, the seventh house, then oh, it means, you know, that. You may be the first one in your family who is having like a love marriage, okay, or an intercaste marriage, interreligion marriage, okay. So some some old patterns will be broken because Rahu Ketu shows boundaries, that which is outside of the boundary, okay. So boundary can literally mean border, like you know, across the border. What do they say, Sarhat Par? 
<laughs> or it could be yeah like you are more conservative the person is more liber liberal you know left wing type or you are very left wing type and the person is conservative right wing type okay so it could be either way so some pattern will be broken so be prepared for surprises so if your son or daughter has ketu in the 7th then they might go for a intercaste or interreligious marriage maybe or there could be something unusual you know they they have like you know um, a prenup or something like that or something unusual we we can't say in general but something might be there okay unconventional and something which has never happened in the family before number 4 wherever ketu sits you you will have to overcome your ego and drink your pride so wherever ketu sits if you are being arrogant there then you will be smashed sorry but you you will you will be ripped off if you if you even try to show some arrogance there you will not be spared please don't do it so if you have ketu in the seven don't be arrogant towards your spouse don't like you know bully your spouse or you know, like anyways <laughs> don't show that you are the boss all the time okay otherwise what happens is see ketu's job is to ultimately make you spiritual and how does he do it by detaching you from your materialistic desires and if you if you read the shrimad bhagavatam you will realize that the highest covering or maybe the first covering is of the material world is the false ego okay ahankar mithya ahankar right so aham kar is like uh, as they say you know in english i am kar i am kar aham kar <laughs> which means i think i am the car which means i am the body actually i am the driver or i am the owner actually you know i i am not the car actually so when we think we are this body you know i am this you know green jacket so then everything uh, related to this appears very tempting right okay i have a man i have a wife i have you know i am a woman i have a husband i have you know children son daughter mother father i have this position or a youtube channel i have the friends you know everything appears very tempting so ketu's primary job is to hit you there and break your false ego and make you realize that athato brahma jigyasa right focus on the spiritual reality do spiritual practices so he does it he loves to do it by crushing your ego so you know suppose you have ketu in the seventh and you always do things which are not good you know in the marriage then some day you will be very humiliated very badly in front of your spouse and yeah it won't be a pleasurable experience so don't do it <laughs> number 5 ketu will force you to let go of things you know if ketu is in the seventh you are trying to control your spouse i know that <laughs> control what he does or what she does you know control what he or she thinks about others or you know what he or she thinks about you okay so you are trying very hard i know that i know it <laughs> but ketu will teach you that hey mr mr so and so or mrs it's enough you cannot control that person you will have to let go and if you do not let go you will be punished so if you have ketu and if you try to control things there that person will exactly do that which you don't like and then you are wondering what the hell did i do that's what ketu is so wherever ketu sits is like i don't care who you are you have to see at the end of your life you have to leave everything right that is what ketu wants to you to do from the beginning so at the end of your life if ketu is in the seventh you know you will separate from your spouse right either your spouse will leave before you or you will leave you know but at the end anyways even if your spouse is there you will still separate so ketu will make your life situations in such a way that even when you are living you will feel as if i am alone <laughs> not in a derogatory sense but you will understand that you know everybody in this material world is there because of give and take okay you know, so uh, you will not you will not be too obsessed about it okay that's very important number 6 wherever ketu is there you have to face some unresolved karmic debts okay like 
for example, if Ketu is in the seventh, I have seen, you know, the unresolved karmic things which you have no control over, absolutely no control. You cannot do anything there. So, for example, if Ketu is in the seventh, there could be a situation where, you know, somebody is like, you know, your spouse, you know, something happens, it turns out he or she was a fake person, you know, fake ID, fake name, or something completely bizarre which has never happened in your uh, family. And uh, then there is court case and, you know, you are fighting or, you know, something happens which you never expected. Now, why that's happening? Because the karmic exchange is getting balanced, okay? So, of course, this does not mean you just keep sitting and uh, keep telling yourself, oh, karma is, you know, taking its course, let me not do anything. No, you take action, you take legal help if something bad is done to you or against you. But you know, what you have to understand is that wherever Ketu is placed, you will primarily have to give in that area of life. Without giving 100 times, don't expect anything. Don't expect anything wherever Ketu sits. Just give, 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 give. And if you are lucky, you may get something. <laughs> okay. Of course, you cannot give just and you know not expect anything, but you have to understand. Primarily, you have to give be the giver, provider. You cannot receive much, okay? You have to make peace with it. Number six, you may pursue non-traditional paths. Okay, now this is very similar to like, you know, breaking old patterns. But this means, you know, your uh, your your success may be a bit different, non-conventional. Okay, so for example, uh, you may say, oh, I, I don't want to get married. You know, Ketwin said, I want to uh, you know, stay unmarried. So it, it's like, uh, it is non-conventional, but it is like, you know, Something again, which you have done yourself, it is your own decision, it's your own uh, free will and you have done it be not because you, you uh, did not like anybody, but because you did not find a spouse who is spiritual like you. So you decided better I don't get married, otherwise I will uh, get into materialism and you know, I, I, will, I will lose my path basically, okay. So, with Ketu, you might have to embrace the road which is kind of, you know, less traveled. So, if you do this, then you'll have a lot of deeper wisdom. So, if you have Ketu in a particular house, be prepared to travel alone. There may be nobody with you. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. So, there are situations where I've seen, you know, if people have Ketu in seventh, you know, they're like, help and I want to marry this person only and the family is against and you know, everybody is against and they end up marrying. So, it's their responsibility. So, it's like, your own way, right? No, no mother, father, in laws, nobody is there to help you because you are already you already married by going against their wishes. Okay. So therefore be prepared to walk alone. What was that song? Ekla Chalo. <laughs> All right. Number eight, there will be transcendence of your desire. So what will happen is not only will you be forced to leave the desire. But your desire will become transcendental. What does this mean? This means, suppose Ketu is in the seventh, not only will you be unhappy in your marriage, can be if situations are not very good, and not only will you lose the uh, materialistic side of marriage, but you will also transcend all this, which means you will now start seeing your husband or wife as a spiritual counterpart rather than a uh, you know, piece of body to have sexual indulgence or, you know, to get like, you know, emotional happiness, okay? So, therefore, you will transcend material desires and you will reach to a platform where you see each other as servants of God and you are doing spiritual things together, okay? Provided the chart is strong or otherwise there could be separation, okay? So, you are like, I'm done with marriage, okay? <laughs> All right, number nine, and this is maybe one of the best lessons of Ketu. It will teach you that nothing is permanent. It will teach you. So, if Ketu is in the seventh, you know, it could be that, you know, there are multiple marriages, you know, two, three, four, five. Okay, Ketu in fifth, multiple relationships. So, what is it teaching? You know, nothing is permanent. All, all your lovers will tell all the sweet things in the beginning, you know, it's like all the nice things of the universe and then when there are conflicts, they will like behave as if they've never seen you before, right? So this is exactly what Ketu does. 
So if Ketu is associated with your marriage houses, then uh, yes, uh, you 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 may under or even if you have one marriage, even if you have, uh, if you are married only once, uh, then even within that you will realize, oh yes, uh, I have understood. It's not going to be there for eternity. It's gonna it's gonna crash someday. It's not permanent. Okay, it's temporary, as Krishna says in the. Ita, right? Material world is a place of misery. It is also temporary, right? So therefore, it will give you lessons of the scriptures. And last but not the least, you will develop intuition and inner knowledge. So wherever Ketu is placed, you will know something will happen be before even that happening. That's what Ketu is because Ketu guides you at a soul level which can never be wrong. So if Ketu is in a particular place and you are doing spiritual practices, provided if you are drunk and you are addicted to you know watching pornography, this will not work. Okay, don't just say oh it's my intuition. It's it's the intuition of the demon of your mind. Okay, but in general, if you are like a sthita pragya, you know you are like a centered person, you are a balanced person, you are a spiritual person, and you have Ketu in the seventh. And you are getting some intuition, you know, maybe my marriage is not working or maybe now it will work. Maybe if I go in this direction, it will work. Then it is very likely that it will happen. All right. So in conclusion, Ketu will make you spiritual. It will make you detached. It will rip you off. Even if it does not rip you, it will uh, make you transcend, you know, see things at a spiritual level. And of course, it will give you non-traditional, non-confrontational. You have to take the path less traveled. And there may be nobody with you. Ekla <laughs> Cholo. All right. Thank you so much for your patience. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, which I'm sure you would. Uh, and uh, yes, for personalized consultations, you can go to my website down below. And for consultations in New Delhi, exoticastrology at the red gmail.com is my email address. All right. Thank you so much. Make Ketu Maharaj bless everyone to become more spiritual. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Jai Siyaram.